Hello everyone, today I've got an important topic to talk about. <clears throat> so um, when I was um, 50, 14 or 15, uh, I, I had a, a dog called Sparky, I still do, he's a Yorkshire Terrier, he's somewhere in the house, and um, I, uh, I decided to take a photo as a joke and upload it as my fo uh, fo Facebook profile picture. I had a picture of me uh, with a knife up to his throat, and um, when I got back to school, when I went to school, um, people were giving me all types of abuse for it, and they were accusing me of being a a dog murderer, a dog rapist, and all this, and you know they're, they're accusing me of being a weirdo and everything, and it, you know it's just really weird because um, and that there's one, they're they're asking me, oh, is that dog still alive and all that, and uh, uh, what else? Uh, they're accusing me of having a dead animal in my uh, my room as if I was some sort of a uh, uh, dead meat collector, and um, yeah, and you know they're accusing me of that, but while they were saying that, um. There wasn't any uh, m uh, dead animals in my room. The dead animals were on our fucking plates the whole time. And we were eating them. And we were contributing to more and more animals getting killed and murdered. And yet all these little bitches were moaning and groaning and bitching on about me. Uh, having a picture of a knife up to my dog. Even though I, I didn't even touch it. I did not kill the dog at all. He's still alive. In fact, for any of you who have any doubts... I'll show you now. Where is he? Ah, yeah, here he is. There's Sparky. You see him? Hey, Sparky, way down. Okay. So, yes, he's still there. And, uh, yeah, um, I did not murder him as, if, as some people suggested. So, um, yeah, I've been a vegan now for two months, and, um, or maybe less, seven or eight weeks, I'd say. And I feel like I should have gone vegan earlier because, you know, all this time I've been such a hypocritical person. Looking after my dogs, being all nice to them, and then eating other animals, uh, eating, having dead animals on my plate, just eating them, contributing to the whole thing. But uh, I think it was when we were in school, well, I was in a boarding school then, and uh, they just served us uh, meat on a plate. So, uh, yeah, so I think it's a little bit more understandable when you're, like, living with parents or whatever, living, or just being served the food like that. Uh, okay, so... Uh, but certainly, but uh, when you start buying food yourself, then I certainly think you should stop doing it anyway. So, because you know the only other op they didn't give us enough carbs and over there, like they didn't give us much pasta or spaghetti or anything like that, and uh, they didn't give us much bread. You know, we were always looking for more and more bread the whole time, and uh, yeah, you know the the meat was the real filler of the meal. Like if we didn't eat the meat, we'd be pretty hungry. And uh, they did have vegetarian options, but they were rotten. Jesus, I don't think I wouldn't eat them now. So. Um, Anyway, uh, this just story about how hypocrites can uh, cause a lot of harm and uh, make one person feel bad for doing such a small and significant thing. Well, there. And uh, yeah, that's that's my video for today. Uh, go vegan. Uh, don't be a hypocrite. If you do want to eat meat, then by all means, go off and murder dogs. You know, because um, people who are uh, people say that people who are just eat meat uh, that they're loudy or cowards because you know you can't get in trouble for that like there's no there's no consequences no it's not illegal if you, if you really want to be a uh, brave and stand up for what you believe in uh go murder your dog go murder a human eat them and uh yeah then you won't be a hypocrite at all and uh, you won't be a coward because you know you know people find out about this they'll they'll go after you make sure you show your make sure you let other people know you're doing this don't don't keep it a secret or else you'll avoid the consequences you know that's cowardly you want to be right there and open and just take what they have to throw at you. All for your beliefs. Because you're a political prisoner. Yeah. We hate animals. We want to kill them. Yeah. We want to eat them. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we believe in. We fight for our freedom. Yeah. That's that's, that's what you should do. Okay. So, uh, yeah. The Irish phone owner with his uh, second video of the day. And um, if you like it, please, please leave a like. If you don't like it, please leave a dislike. And um, hopefully I shall see you another day.